hello good morning and in this video we will discuss how we can use mysql and enter framework core in a dotnet project so first i am going to search mysql entity framework core on google so here i got a link from mysql documentation after opening it here we have the links i am more interested in the second uh, topic which is uh, scaffolding on existing database in ef core so basically we are uh, trying to create ef core model from existing database so we will use this particular link so here in the link we have some steps given so first we will need to create some uh, project add some references do the restore and run the this dotted ef context command so i already have uh, used these command but this uh, steps doesn't work so the main issue is this uh, with this steps are that the mysql entry framework core 6.0 is still using the references for entity framework 5.0 that's why this is not working with entry framework 6 to overcome that we can use uh, mysql entry framework core 5 and entry framework core 5 so that uh, the versions will be compatible and that will run so i will show in the code like how this uh, after following these steps how the errors are coming and how we can uh, downgrade to 5.0 so that our um, project can work and uh, apart from that i also share uh, tips or the different providers by which we can use the dotnet asp dot, uh, sorry the entry framework core 6.0 using mysql so stay tuned and don't miss anything so let me fire off my rider so i am using linux machine ubuntu and here i am using uh, jetbeans rider uh, here i am not getting the project template for dotnet core so let me set up the path for uh, the dotnet executable basically i have installed the dot and executable uh, before installing it so i have to uh, specify the path so choosing the path here dot net and this okay save let me open once again so that i can see the templates it's new solution now i have the templates so i'm going to select sp.net core web application and from here I will be naming it something like um, MySQL Entity EF Core Example and choosing the project type Web API. That's all create. Yeah. So here a project is being created. So what we have to do? So we have completed the first step creating a console application, but we are using a Web API application. That is done. So let me build it so everything is working yes cool now run yeah so it's working fine here is yeah so we got this weather forecast api endpoints it's working fine cool so we have done the first step second step is yeah the second step is to install this mysql entry framework core nuget package so here i will choose manage nuget package searching this particular dependency and from here mysql entry framework core i am using 6.0.4 and add yeah so this is being restored then we have to add some other yeah we have to add and microsoft entry framework core tools so i think this is installed let's search this one and try to install it we will make sure like it has the design dependency yes and we will using 6.0.9 add that's cool so this is also get restored i guess let me clean the solution and build it again yeah so we have the packages the tool and the mysql entry framework core nice now uh, for this particular demo i am going to use this uh, scott database so i have already a scott database we have an employee table here so we will be using this table in our api to extract get the data on the 
API endpoint using Entity Framework Core and MySQL. So the last step is to yeah run this particular command. So let me write it here first. Plain text paste yeah. So dot and ef db context is scaffold. We have to supply connection string output folder. So here let change the connection string. Server is equals to local host local host then user id is equals to root password is equals to root and database is equals to scott so this is my connection string this is my provider name and this will be the output folder name so let me put its db repo so this will be my output folder name let's put another switch for the db context class name so i will be using something um, it's called db context that's it so we will have to run this particular command let me open the terminal and clear it paste the command enter no project of fine oh, okay so i am in the solution directly let me move to the project directory yeah now run this same command and build started yes this is the error that i am talking about so this error is uh, happening because these are the classes that are being used in the entry framework core 5.0 which is my sql entry framework core is using okay so let's downgrade our dependencies to 5.0 so that it can run so check the all install dependency yeah this is the tool let me change it to something 5.0.17 downgrade that's great and then my sql entry framework code 6.0 downgrade to 5.0.16 nice now let's try to run same command again build it started will succeed yes now we can see a folder db repo here and this one is our db context class and here we have the connection string setup cool so let me copy this particular connection string from here and move it to our uh, dependency in the program.cs so builder dot services dot add db context our context class is, is called db context and let me supply the connection string in the options okay paste it change it to this and import the reference library yeah that's all try to build it build succeeded and let me create uh, another controller new sql adam and api controller with read write action employee controller and uh, it is getting generated uh, yeah code generation tool is getting installed so it take a little longer yeah so now it's generated cool so let me do a constructor injection here so first create a constructor I guess yeah do the constructor and do the dependency injection for the is called db context is db context private read only is called db context this dot db context is equal to db context on the get method our return type will be changed from a string enumerable to uh, employee enumerable and this will be go with db context dot dot to list so this will fetch the data from mysql and so on the screen so run it okay now we have a new employee endpoint try it execute it yeah we got the data from the database cool 
so this is how we can downgrade our dependencies to 5.0 to complete our uh, to like uh, make a compatible uh, entry framework code with the mysql this was simple we work around but what if we want to use entry framework 6.0 with mysql so for that i have some diff i will need to use some different providers so let me delete this uh, controller repo and build it and whatever the reference is pending we will remove that also so here the, the name is space import and this particular line we will delete now build again cool so it's working fine we are again on the zero let's remove those packages that we have included so remove this designer pack design packet tool package and then mysql dot into framework core cool yeah nice then yeah we have some error here yeah we are getting this error due to into framework core build it again nothing is broken yeah everything is good nice so next we will try to use some different provider so all things will be same the provider name will only change so um, uh, when i was searching for the solution of the particular error i found this particular link on the stock overflow which is talking about the same discussion about entry framework core error so here i have explained this particular uh, solution to downgrade to 5.0 apart from that we have another solution where we are using some we will remove mysql entry, uh, entity framework core and pomelo entry framework core mysql driver we will use so just copy it search in the nuget package paste it uh, okay so this one the this is the package that we are looking for and uh, this is the cli version so let's copy it and add in our reference paste it in this particular one 6.0 that's fine it has mysql connector and some other dependencies also exchange and dependency injection relations add it yeah next we will have to add the another uh, package that this one microsoft enter framework dot tools so let add this here we will try to use not 7 6.0.9 and add it nice cool and now here we will have to change the provider name to pomelo entry framework code dot mysql cool now copy this particular one uh, this command clear it and builds once again so everything is clean and working let's try to generate our model paste it enter it and we'll start it okay hyphen context so oh, ims is spelled something yeah this switch is c not context so change it to c run it build successfully yeah so now again we will get the same db repo folder here so the provider that we have changed so we have db repo folder is called db context file let's comment it and copy it to move in the program.cs here we will add again build dot services dot add db context of uh, scott db context and let me provide the options and uh, set this particular line and use underscore and import the required packages here yeah. so this is the similar the only difference is this particular provider using another parameter server version so that's it try to build it again yeah everything is working let's create the employee controller again head new scuffled item add api controller with read write actions employee controller cool 
so it's again generating the controller okay this is done let me add the constructor here and do the dependency injection for scott db context copy it private read only scott db context this dot db context equal to db context and here we will remove string and use emp number well and here db context dot emp, emp dot to list that's all try to run it employee try it execute yeah we are getting the data it's perfect so uh, in the video description i will put these particular commands so you can use it so that's all in this video uh, tell me how you like this one whether it like or dislike you can react on the like button and if you want to get new videos from this particular channel you can subscribe it and please do comment whatever uh, your response is about this video and if you have any suggestion you can put there i uh, try to accommodate that in our next video